y'all it's Aliana and I am back here with another video in today's video I'm going to be taking you along with me on my PTO days so very exciting stuff I'm super excited to not have to work if you have kept up with my last vlogs and if you're new welcome and if you're not new welcome back but like I said if you have kept up with my previous vlogs then you know I was supposed to leave for Jamaica today but that trip was a fail. It got canceled literally days before I was supposed to leave. Um, it was like completely out of my control. But I didn't want to dwell on the cancellation of my trip. And I still wanted to enjoy some time off of my 9 to 5. So I scheduled some appointments throughout the week. I'm getting ready to go to hot yoga. I wanted to keep today pretty chill. Honestly, I didn't want to be out of the house too much. So my activity for today is hot yoga. My hair looks really, really cute. I got knotless braid yesterday. This was going to be my hairstyle for Jamaica, but I'm so happy I decided to keep the appointment. I never really get my hair done. I usually wear it natural, so this was a treat for me. But I did find a good stylist in Dallas. She did amazing. The service was great. Like, her prices are really, really affordable. So very grateful for that, and if you're interested, I'll make sure to keep her information either like on the screen or in the description box if you are in Dallas and looking for a really affordable and nice quality, great serviced um, braider in Dallas. Like I said, I'm about to go to yoga. Um, I have an exciting package today. I finally ordered an iPad. I've been wanting an iPad for years, but what really pushed me to get an iPad is that my computer is shot like no matter what i do my i have low disk space i have low memory i've deleted everything i could possibly delete i have an external hard drive and i'm still having issues like i can barely google on my laptop so i was like let me get a laptop equivalent and amazon was having a sale and i got the ipad 10th generation silver I was watching so many YouTube videos and reviews yesterday to find the right iPad because there's like a million different iPads. I was able to get money back for my flight so I used some of that to pay for the iPad because honestly I love buying myself stuff. Gift giving, receiving gifts is one of my top love languages and obviously I was really disappointed my Jamaica trip got cancelled so I was like let me just treat myself to something I've been wanting for a really long time and I got an iPad so I'm really excited about that and I also got like a keyboard and mouse and stuff so it can actually feel like a laptop because I will be editing a lot on there and using that as a laptop probably will still take my laptop to get looked at because I really don't know what's going on with it it crashes so much too and it's not even that old I got that laptop I think it was my second semester of junior year in college um and i graduated in 2021 so i feel like it's not that old yeah anyways super excited about the ipad and i'm getting a massage for the first time this week i'm really excited about that i've never gotten a massage um i'm also supposed to be getting my period this week which would have sucked to have my period in jamaica but i would have made it work i'm kind of happy i'm home because i can just like chill and stuff have a lot of content to edit and film. I want to explore a new area. I looked at a few places in Bishop Arts. It looks super artsy and just my vibe. So I really want to check out Bishop Arts. That might be a weekend activity. I'm going to take Diesel out to use the bathroom. I just fed him. It's like 10 o'clock. I woke up pretty early today. I woke up at like 6.30. I forgot to turn off my work alarm. And I ended up just like staying up a little bit and just being on my phone and then I finally got up, cleaned the apartment a little bit, but I did not film that because I... Y'all have seen me clean so many times and if you're interested in cleaning videos, I do post weekly Sunday Reset apartment cleaning videos on TikTok. So that is the place to be if you are interested in cleaning videos. I also have been testing out youtube shorts i'm really just throwing spaghetti at the wall if you are a content creator repurpose your short form content for youtube shorts just throw anything at the youtube shorts algorithm i don't really understand youtube shorts like some videos do really really good and i gain a lot of subscribers and other ones 
it's like it just disappears into <laughs> it's kind of like a ghost video like it gets like no views but it's fine so that's kind of the like sneak peek of my plan i'm going to take diesel to use the bathroom and then we are going to head to yoga yoga and my class was supposed to be only 45 minutes and it ended up being an hour and as we were going i was like this feels longer than 45 minutes but it was like a whole hour class to go home i just wanted to sit out here for a little bit because it's so nice out i wish it was a little bit warmer i could have gone to the pool I feel really good. I am about to eat lunch. This chicken breast club from Sprouts. I also got this like pretty, I don't know, kind of funky kombucha at Sprouts. It's the Mortal Kombucha brand. Full lemonade with activated charcoal. I don't have any other plans today because I really just wanted to enjoy my first day off of work in a really long time. Besides like holidays or when I had to move hey y'all um, I'm sitting on my bed because I want to be comfy um, I showered I did my skincare routine I refreshed my hair I got this leave-in conditioner from TJ Maxx I think it's the brand Foxy Bay and it smells so freaking good I wanted a spray leave-in so it would be easier to you know maintain the look of boho birds and i went to the mail center and i got my freaking ipad it came so quick i did not think it was going to make it like during the day but i got my ipad i got it in silver i am about to unbox it and set it up and stuff i've been wanting an ipad for so long and i've kind of been out of a laptop for a little bit because I don't know I need to take it to a shop but Amazon was having a sale so I picked this one up and yeah let's unbox it Good morning it is Thursday I have been up I don't know why every time I am off of work I can wake up so easy I feel energized and I did go to bed at around 12 last night because I was editing my video on my iPad update I really love my iPad Probably in the long run will upgrade to an iPad Pro just because I would have access to Final Cut Pro. I've been using CapCut to edit my YouTube videos lately. It's a super easy platform. It has a bunch of different add-ons that you can just make your video more creative and stuff like that. It's the fastest I've ever been able to edit a video because for one, obviously like I have a few days off this week from work and the iPad is new. It has a bunch of storage because when I tell y'all even if I opened up Google, my computer would be like, running low on memory, delete stuff. And I'm like, I've deleted so much. What else could I delete? And it would crash and a bunch of stuff. So I'm happy I finally got an iPad. We are about to go on our morning walk with Diesel. Didn't have much that I wanted to do on Thursday besides like editing content. I'm on my period right now, so I kind of just want to take it slow. But I did have the sudden urge to want to go through my closet. Be the time to go through my closet, see what I can donate, see what I can sell. I definitely want to make an acai bowl. 
and it's supposed to rain too so just rainy vibes and i wanted to cook dinner because the recipe that i found is gonna take like a few hours so i need to start that probably this afternoon it's not that cute but it's so good i wanted to make sure i got protein so i added some um dairy-free whey powder it was like vanilla flavor so it kind of messed up the color and also the freaking strawberries were drowning in it it's acai bowl is so good i love acai bowls make your smoothies thicker add frozen bananas and i did that but i think i just added too much milk and it's a watery texture instead of being thick i honestly just want to lounge around i changed my mind i am not going through my closet today <laughs> that just sounds like too much labor right now it's giving couch potato rainy day vibes Bon dia! It is Friday, March 22nd. I am filming on my iPad right now because I forgot to charge my camera batteries and they're both dead. Both my batteries are dead, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, I think it would be cool to add like a little element, a different video element. But it is 10 12. I have my massage at 11 and um i'm really excited i've never gotten a massage before and this place looks super cute it's like t tulum inspired so really excited about that and then we are going to do a little bit of shopping but i really wasn't planning on going to grapevine mills it's a mall in grapevine texas I collaborated with that mall in december and then i think in february and they just now emailed me yesterday asking if I can make revisions to one video. And they wanted more clips of the mall. I deleted all of the clips I had of the mall, like people walking around because they want the mall to look busy. And I was like, I'm going to have to go to Grapevine and film more clips. And I wasn't planning on going there today because I really just wanted to hang around South Lake because it reminds me of North Hills. Like, they have so many cute shops. Slight change of plan, so we are going to go to the massage. And then I want to check out Anthropology because that's a store that's in the, I think it's South Lake Plaza or something. And they also have an Aritzia, but yeah, it kind of looks like it's going to rain today. The weather doesn't say it's going to rain, but obviously, like, I would not want to get caught in the rain. I should leave at 10.30. And I haven't said this like online, but I actually like have not driven since I've moved to Texas. I knew I was not going to enjoy driving here because people drive so freaking crazy here. It's like Fast and the Furious and I sold my car before I moved here. And I haven't driven since I moved. And I know one day I'm gonna have to put on my grown up pants and drive, but I just have like terrible driving anxiety and i just have not worked up the courage to drive again but i have been thinking of getting a car because honestly like i feel bad relying on my boyfriend for like i feel i don't know even though my boyfriend is okay with it like i just feel really bad having to rely on him with a car and it just reminds me of like when I was younger and I didn't have a car it was so inconvenient 
and also like just having to uber like thankfully the ubers aren't outrageous like if i was in new york city but also new york city has public transportation dallas does, has public transportation somewhat but every person that i talk to sorry i have like a lint i have like a limp ball in my hair um but like every person i talk to and i ask them about i think it's called the dart they tell me it's like not that safe or the routes are really weird and i don't know uber is just like it's just an option but yeah i've definitely been thinking about getting a car again like this cannot go on forever so, yeah thankfully i'm not cramping as much today i need this massage i will talk to y'all after my massage and give y'all a review from being out i'm on my ipad once again for some reason my batteries were not even charging while i was away i was away for like three and a half hours and it was not charging so that kind of sucks massage was amazing like i am truly obsessed i ended up signing up for the membership and i get um one massage a month which is so amazing i loved my massage the place was so cute as y'all saw the vibes were immaculate. The vibes were there. It was just what I needed. It was giving Tulum vibes all the way. I've never been to Tulum, but I've seen pictures and I've saved like a lot of Airbnbs because I really want to go to Mexico eventually, especially because I'm in Texas. Like that's our neighbor. So it was so relaxing. And I got um, the Now Signature Massage with Heat Therapy. It was just what I needed while I'm on my period. Like, definitely be back. My next appointment is on May 4th. So, super excited about that. I had to go to the mall, which I was telling y'all about. I had to reshoot a video, which is so annoying. I'm, whatever. Like, I'm grateful I'm getting paid for it. But I'm just like, why did y'all take a month to send me the revision notes? Like, yeah. Ever since I started monetizing my platforms, I've seen like the other side of social media and i'm not even that big of a creator but i can only imagine like if your full income is from social media because there's been instances where payment was net 60 which means whenever you submit your content or post it 60 days from that date is when you'll get paid like i have had like a few sponsorships last month and i still haven't gotten paid yet and it's just, it's very interesting seeing the backside of it. But yeah, so I did a little bit of shopping. I didn't do too much. I went to the mall, like I said, and I honestly didn't want to spend that much time in there. Um, there was just like a bunch of high schoolers in there because it's like Friday, middle of the day. 
um, but I went to a few stores, but I only got stuff from H&M and Marshalls. So the first thing that I have is from Marshalls and I got a pajama set and these are the pants right here, but they're attached, I think. Oh no, they're not. Okay. So I got this cute pajama set. I have been really wanting more pajama sets because I just feel more put together. And this is by the Sincerely Julie brand, I believe. Yeah, Sincerely Jewels. And I really love this material. It's 100% cotton, so it's breathable. It will be comfortable when I wear this in the summer because I have a few pajama sets, but they're silk. And if you know anything about silk, it is not breathable at all. And oftentimes I'm like sweating in my sleep. So I wanted to switch it up and get a cotton one. But here's what the top looks like. It's short sleeve. And here are the pants. Yeah, these are the pants. These look super comfortable. And I just, I love the pink color. I went to H&M and I got these dress pants. I work from home, so I don't wear dress pants that often, like rarely. But I am going on a work trip in two weeks and I was like, let me re-up on some new dress pants because I've had the same dress pants since like college, which is so crazy. I love the material. Um, it has like an elastic band and I loved that the material was made out of recycled um, fabrics, which is super, super nice. I feel like H&M or maybe I just haven't been paying attention because I don't know. I prefer in-person shopping, I will say, but I never really went into H&M, but I feel like they ha I've been gravitating towards H&M a lot more lately. Straight leg, and I, yeah, I really like these. To Anthropology and Aritzia for the first time. I've never been in these stores before, so I'm really excited. Um, I was having a ball in anthropology. Anthropology is like just my vibe. I was intimidated in Aritzia because I have um, looked at their online store, but I haven't been inside. And I don't know, it wasn't a welcoming environment. Like I walked in there, no one really talked to me. And I'm not sure if that's like their vibe, just like leaving the customers alone. I did check out their TNA line, I think, but I didn't get anything from there. Um, but honestly, I was like ready to go home once I got to Aritzia. But yeah, it came in like a really cute bag. I will definitely be reusing this for like a gift bag. Um, but yeah. So I got these Levi shorts, the 501 90 shorts. I really wanted a like longer short, if that makes sense. And I think these are so cute. These were $69.50, so 70 bucks. I probably could have gotten these somewhere cheaper. Like I I went to the mall after Ritzia um, because I had to like reshoot the video and there was a Levi's store in there. But the mall that I went to is an outlet mall and they don't have like everything a regular Levi's store would have. So I wasn't sure if they would have summertime stuff or shorts, but yeah, I just decided to get these there because I've been eyeing some jean shorts and it's just a blue denim and I really like them. So from H&M, I got a new phone case because my phone case was like beaten up. It was so dirty. No matter how much I like wiped it off with an alcohol pad, like this is going in the trash. Like what is that? <laughs> I was having so much fun in anthropology. I will definitely be using this bag as well. Um, hello, my name is Aliana and this is an A. Like that is the cutest thing. I got two things from there. I just love the boutique feel. Like I love shopping in boutiques. I love shopping at stores like this. So the first thing that I see is this Feluspa Goji Tobacco Orange Candle. Yeah. This candle I am when I smelled this in store I was like I have to get this and this was kind of a more pricier candle um, this was $32 but it was a treat myself kind of day but 
y'all look how cute this freaking candle is oh my gosh this candle smells so good and i will definitely be reusing this candle jar when this is done oh my gosh that smells so good I'm supposed to do a collab with this brand actually but they never sent me the candle which was kind of weird, but this smelled too good to pass up. Like, it's definitely giving spring vibes. Like, it's so citrusy with the orange. The tobacco just balances it out, and I don't know. I just really love this. And um, the person that was helping me out, she told me that these candles burn super slow and they last a really long time. So... I am excited to burn that and then the next thing that I got is this super cute purse that I thought was so cute. I was thinking about getting the bigger one, the tote size, but I have been wanting more evening bags for like dinner and stuff and I thought this would be the perfect size and this is definitely a Bottega dupe but more affordable. This was $108. Um, but like I was saying, I've been wanting a good quality evening bag. And y'all, this is so cute. It has a zipper. And let me see. I don't know if this is like real leather. I'll have to look at I'll have to look at the specs online. But yeah, this is the Melly Bianco brand. But yeah, I thought this was so stinking cute. Like, this is the perfect size. And I feel like this will go with everything. And it does have gold hardware. I'm not much of a gold girl. But this bag was so cute. And it was perfect for what I've been needing. But yeah, that is my little haul. For the rest of the day, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to edit some content i did my experience that i had at the now on tiktok um i'm probably gonna have to like put music over this or mute it because it might be a copyrighted song but i think it came out so cute or i'll just like insert it in the video but y'all that massage was amazing and I feel like I cannot live without a monthly massage now. I will talk to y'all later. take diesel on a longer walk the weather is honestly not the best it kind of looks like it's going to rain it's supposed to rain later 
but it's just so windy and chilly outside it was not comfortable we were planning on going to this market slash street fair that was in bishop arts um i've been wanting to check out bishop arts it's like a neighborhood in dallas um but like i said the weather was just like not the greatest but i am going to one um another market in street fair in april so i will be going to that one um but yeah i just got home and i had a notification that i got a package in the mail i think it's pr but we are going to open her it says it's from kiehl's oh my gosh <laughs> Of when um, PR boxes are really cool. So I got their expertly clear acne treating prevent and preventing lotion. This has salicylic acid, and then there is a truly targeted acne clearing solution. So here's what the box looks like. I love getting PR packages. It's like I don't know. It's just really nice, but. Unfortunately, I do not know if I can even use this because um, I'm using tretinoin. I have to do more research, but yeah, this is so cute and I love this little bag. It's so cute. Like that is the cutest little makeup pouch situation and I love that the I love that it's green. Green is my favorite color. But yeah, this is so cute. This is um, the ending of this week's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed spending time with me today while I was off of work. I do have to go back to work tomorrow, which is bittersweet. <laughs> yeah, I had a really nice time this week. It was just so nice doing things that I wanted to do and just creating my own schedule. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will catch y'all in my next video.